children. Hello, Mommy Pastor. Welcome to Sunday School. Today's topic is the widow's offering. This story is taken from Mark 12, 41 to 44. Let's begin lesson 41. Jesus sat down opposite the place where offerings were put. He watched as the crowd put their money into the temple treasury. The rich people gave large amounts of money. But a poor widow came and put in two very small copper coins worth less than a penny. Calling his disciples to him, Jesus said, I tell you the truth, this poor widow has put more into the treasury than all the others. They all gave out of their wealth, but she gave everything she had. For more on this story, read Mark 12, 41 to 44 in your Bible. Offering. Hello there, and welcome to question time. Question number one. Are you ready? Yes. Uh, drum roll, please. All right, great job. Okay, question number one. What was Jesus doing in the temple? Jesus was sitting at the temple watching as everyone was giving their offerings to God. Yes! I know, right? Can you just imagine? While you're giving your offering and tithe, Jesus watching? <laughs> that is deep. I wonder what he's thinking, huh? Oh, I almost held back my offering. What did you say? <laughs> you held your offering back before? Oh, my goodness. Wow. Yeah, Jesus saw you. <laughs> Very funny, Question you guys. Question number two. What were the rich people doing? The rich ones in the temple also gave, but they gave little out of so much that they had. Yes, they were giving too. Good job. Yeah, I just got interrupted. All right. By, who? By who? Uh, let me just surprise. Hi, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, how do you do us the honor by asking question number three? Of course. <laughs> question number three is, what did the widow give? The widow gave two tiny copper coins from the little she had as an offering to God. Yeah, that's the right answer. Good job. Yay! All right, thank you. Now, you don't have to leave, but you got to get out of here. <laughs> Number four, why do you think Jesus was most pleased with the widow's offering? I guess Jesus was so impressed with the widow's giving because she willingly gave all that she had to God. Yes, absolutely. Can I have another? Maybe the rich people gave it so much pride that they could make them boast of their giving. But the widow gave in secrecy and in humility. Correct, again. Wow, you guys are on a roll. All right, let's keep it coming. Another? I think Jesus was more pleased with the widow's offering because despite her being very poor, she was still able to give all that she had. And to Jesus, that meant a lot. Great job, you guys. That, was, that answer was actually well thought out. All right, let's get one more. Let's hit the with a slam dunk. Knowing that she is a widow with no one else to help her, giving her all and trusting God for more supplies really touched Jesus. Indeed, that was a slam dunk. All right. Yes. Squash, that's all right. <laughs> and that wraps it up for our Q&A session. It's now time for games and activities. activities. I will see you on the other side. Bye. 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 B
You are in the activity room. Here's your challenge. Let's play word set. You may begin now. You did it! Yes! We've got this! Let's review today's memory verse. Okay, let's remove some words. Time's up. Great job! Come on, kids! It's time to bring the Word of God to life! Are you ready? Yes! Let's take a look at Psalms 1, 6. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. Say, Lord Jesus! You know it all. You see it all. I pray my ways are acceptable in your sight. I pray that I will not be comfortable in sin, but walk before you in truth and obedience. Set my heart to gain wisdom and understanding through godly counsel. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. There you have it. The Word of God comes to life in you. Go in love and obedience in Jesus' name. What was today's story about? What did you learn? Mm -hmm. Yeah.
interesting. Anything else? Great job! What does today's memory verse mean to you? You paid attention. We are so proud of you, and you should be too. Yay! <laughs> Coming. Good day, Mommy Pasta. Hello, How Mr. have Lalo. you been? I'm fine. How are you? Great. I'm good. Glad to know you're doing fine too. I dropped your mails in the mailbox already. I just had to stop by to say hello. Thank you. You're welcome, ma'am. this week. Yes, you guessed right. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. May you celebrate many glorious years to come in Jesus' name. All right, children, that concludes our lesson for today. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, Thank you for teaching us today. Thank you for all the listening ears and hearts you touched. May your words continue to be engraved in our hearts. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Okay, guys, that is it for today. Now, don't forget to share this story with a friend. All right? Yay! Yes, Mommy Pastor. Okay, I'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.